Hi guys, welcome to this tactical video. This one is about the Repentia squad for the Sisters of Battle in 8th edition. And they are, of course, an elite squad. They cost 3 power points. Um, it contains 3 Sisters of Repentia in the unit. Now you can take up to 6 additional uh, Repentia, so you can get up to the squad of 9, which is one less than it used to be, although, of course, they used to have a Mistress of Repentance in the unit, and obviously it's designed so you can take a character in a transport with them. So that's always an option right there. So Repentia costs 17 points a model. The war gear doesn't actually cost anything because it's zero points for a penitent eviscerator. And they are slightly worse uh, weapons than they used to be because they're not proper eviscerators anymore. Which is a little bit strange, but I guess they thought it was too powerful before based on the stats. Speaking of stats, Repentia get Axe of Faith and Shield of Faith as always. They have Movement 6, uh, Weapon Skill 3, Ballistic Skill 3, Strength 3, Toughness 3, 1 Wound, 2 Attacks each, Leadership 8, which is decent, and a save of 7+, plus, which is unusual, but it makes sense, uh, because what that lets them do is actually get a cover save of a 6+, plus, if they're in cover, of course. Now, why you would want a cover save of 6+, plus when you have... Shield of Faith? Yeah, I don't know, but I guess. Whatever. Probably never going to be that useful. Okay, so anyway. They're basically decent stats. They're two attacks and the hit and freeze and the leash of hate, that kind of thing. They have the same stat line as a Celestian, except they don't have the armor, of course. They don't have the, the ranged weapons. In fact, they have no ranged weapons whatsoever. So you can run, or I should say advance this unit as you wish without any kind of problems. So the Penitent Eviscerator, which is what they come with, is purely melee weapon. It's strength times two, which means they're strength six. AP minus two, which yeah, is decent. It's not as good as a regular Eviscerator. And it's damage two, which again is not bad. So two damage at a time. When attacking with the weapon, you subtract one from the hit roll. So they're actually hit on fours, which is a bit less good. Now, as we know, uh, if you take a Mistress of Repentance nearby, uh, they can re-roll their advanced charge and hit rolls. So a Mistress of Repentance is a good option because it means you're re-rolling those fours to hit. Uh, you could consider a Cannoness instead if you wanted to buff just other units and you just had the one squad of Repentia, which would let them re-roll ones to hit. Not too bad. You know, it's a little bit extra there. Because they have Acts of Faith, it means they can attack twice, they can move twice if they want. You won't ever use the shoot twice on them because they don't have a shooting attack. Healing them, that's not a bad option as well. You can get Restorer one back and you know get the extra attacks back. And they're quite vulnerable, but they're also quite expensive, so it's not a bad place to spend that. Uh, a Hospitaller nearby, good option again. That can restore them too. Personally, they're obviously designed for the Repentance, the Mistress of Repentance, and she is the best uh, character to support them. And of course, you can still shove her in the middle of the unit and wrap the others around her. She can't join the unit officially, but she can be protected by them, so that's always an option. Where the Repentia really shine these days is that they can take a transport and charge out of it. So you could give them a Rhino and drive it up the field, and then turn two or whenever they can just hop out and charge. That makes a big difference, especially since the Mistress of Repentance can go with them. So it's a good option. One thing you might consider is if you've got a smaller squad, you could put them in an immolator, which could do some damage on its own. And these are a decent counter charge unit because they can just hop out and get that charge. And they'll be quite vulnerable to Overwatch, but if, say, if your unit is at one of your units, like your Battle Sisters, are already caught in melee, then they can get stuck in that way. Um, so that's what I mean by counter charge. So small squads of Repentia are actually a viable option now because you can protect them until the right time, and then they can just hop out and do some damage. With their attacks and that kind of thing, uh, you're, they're less focused on like elite infantry, but they're going to do very good against light infantry because they won't be giving them a save and they're wounding them on T's, so they'll absolutely muller that kind of thing. And that's a good option uh, in this game in particular, if they're against the Horde and that kind of thing. Uh, they'll do a lot of damage, especially if you've got Mistress of Repentance with them. They'll do decently against other elite infantry as well, just like they always did. It won't wipe them as much or as reliably, unless it's a smaller squad. So you kind of want to pick your targets a little bit more with the Repenti if you want to get the most out of them. You can't just go for the most uber elite assault units that the enemy has and just muller them like you used to, but you can go for backfield units and that kind of thing if you can get them close enough, which is like devastators and that kind of thing. They're a decent option for dealing with that. They do well against Space Marine Assault Marines, that kind of thing, they do a lot of damage against them, so you, again, a counter charge unit that is, is basically the role they always kind of fell into anyway, because it was the most effective way of getting some use out of them, for cheap, but basically 
that's kind of what they are designed for, it seems. They are literally designed for counter charge. Um, you can use them in other ways, but that's definitely where they're best suited. So, run them alongside your other units, you know, keep them safe if you can, out of sight, that kind of thing, and then bring them out when you need to and get stuck in. And that's, that's the idea, you know, use them as speed bump, use them to intercept incoming characters, that kind of thing. At least they can hurt everything. With two damage a pot, that's not bad. Against vehicles, they'll actually do a decent amount of damage. They are winding on fives, but you know, you're going to get a lot of hits in and you'll do two damage and you know, you're going to get through most of that save. So you, you're probably going to put some damage on a vehicle with a full squad of these. Bear in mind it's quite expensive for a full squad, but they do require less character support and Repentia always were expensive to make efficient. Generally they used to be best paired with Uriah Jacobus, that's obviously not true anymore. Although having a priest nearby would give them an extra attack, which is a good option. So you could put a priest with them and he would give them a decent amount of benefit there. Another option is to keep Celestine nearby. She's a good distraction unit, of course, and she'll give them, if they're close enough, a plus one to their shield of faith, so they suddenly double their save, effectively, which is really good, and you can take it against most things. That will really, really help. It's a shame they can't re-roll it anymore. There's no way of getting that, so they're a little less survivable overall. But, you know, they're going to do more... De oh, well, they're going to... They're going to get a chance to do more in more aspects of the game, essentially. So, just as I said with Dominions, expect them to die in droves when they finally get involved. But you've got more options to keep them alive, at least, and get them into the positions they need to be. So, I'd actually say overall a little easier to use, overall slightly cheaper to use, and more options in how you build the unit just the amount of size, that kind of thing. However, they've lost a little bit of their potency because of that, so it depends what you need them for. Obviously, I'll be using the Repentia, um, trying to get the most out of them, that kind of thing, and they'll probably my, be my first choice for a counter charge. For going forward and doing assaults, that kind of thing, a Celestian squad, I think, is actually more suited overall. Um, you've got basically more dice coming out of them than you have with the Repentia. Unless you put some priests nearby, of course. And to be honest, I probably will do that because, again, Repentia are quite expensive. That's basically it for the Repentia in their first look. Can't really say much more than that. It's just, again, use them like a surgical instrument. Pick carefully where you need them to be and uh, target the right enemy units and they should do well for you. Watch out for Overwatch if you can. Again, that's why counter charge is so good. But of course, if they've got out a Rhino, you can always charge your Rhino in first. Zob the overwatch with that, and then get stuck in with the actual killing unit, which is the Repentia. It'll do well. Um, losing the initiative one kind of thing, that's really helped overall. It means you get to strike first a lot of the times. So that's really up to their benefits. So as I said, generally speaking, much easier to use with a little less potency. That's that's basically sums them up. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, remember to click like. Don't forget to comment below if you have any feedback whatsoever. I will try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more tactical videos like this one and in the near future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.